Hello everybody, my name is John Bohr, founder and head coach of Core Athletic Training. Today we're going to be introducing the concept of dynamic movements. For now, let's think of these as continuous movements that result in a change of position or location. For example, arm circles, leg swings, or jumping side to side. In our game, Frogger, you will need to jump from spot to spot, which is a dynamic movement. With that being said, let's get started. Today we're going to be playing Frogger. This game can be created with household items such as chalk, tape, rope, or even string. Frogger is really easy to set up. To start, draw two long parallel lines that are spaced at least 10 steps apart. Behind each line will be the shore. The area between each shore will be the pond. Now draw circles in the pond. These areas will serve as the lily pads or safe zones. You can readjust the placement of the lily pads to create new levels. Let's learn the rules and how to play the game. You can play alone or with multiple players. Each player starts at shore and must jump from lily pad to lily pad to cross the pond without falling in. As you cross the pond, it's important to maintain control of your body and use your arms to balance. If a player falls into the pond, then they must start again from the beginning. After each player successfully goes from shore to shore, then they have completed the round. Readjust the lily pads and place them further apart to create new, more advanced levels. One thing I love about this game is that there's an endless amount of levels that you can create. Thanks for joining us at Core Athletic Training today. We hope you had fun and enjoyed learning about the concept of dynamic movements. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive the latest news and updates. If you have any questions, comments, game variations, leave them below. We look forward to hearing from you.